I'm wondering to what extent you think the problem of hyper-incarceration is tied to the war on drugs, and do you see any hope, I, I mean, I think probably it's a great, great deal, but um, do you see any hope on that front? Do you think that there's any way to, if you, if you cast it as, you know, just failure of the war on drugs, that there, there's a way you, you could convince politicians they aren't necessarily being pro-criminal, because I completely agree with your thesis that there's, you know, a, you know, a racial aspect here, but that's just won't work politically in America. So other than the economics argument, do you think there's a way, if just by focusing on you know, the failed war on drugs, that there's any hope there? Well, I think if, if I were the dictator uh, you know, who could just make these decisions unilaterally, I'd back way off on the punitiveness of the war on drugs, at least uh, uh, you know, uh, from where we've gotten ourselves to. I think the evidence is very clear that the effect of the war on drugs has been minimal in terms of suppressing the actual usage of drugs. I think it's also very clear, uh, that's why I use that prostitution example, that the people who get caught up in the war on drugs are mainly these uh, people from the marginal quarters of society who are the ones who are going to be out there on the streets uh, doing this retail dealing. You lock one of those guys up and there are ten more waiting to take their place. So you don't drive up the price, you don't reduce the availability, but you fill up the You, you said some studies are suggesting that drug prices have gone down. Drug prices have, in fact, gone down if you look over the last 25 years yeah. just for quality. Yeah. But the other thing I want to say about the war on drugs is, you see, it's, there's too much law. Because when there's too much law, the rule of law is in trouble. Because when there's too much law, you give the gendarme yeah. the discretion to decide which laws he's going to enforce and against whom. Now, and I don't want to offend anybody, but everybody is getting high, okay? Except for us in this room. This <laughs> but, oh, but, I'm glad but, you made that clear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but everywhere else, there's just a lot of getting high, okay? But not everybody is going to jail for this, all right? That's and the true. people who are deciding this are using discretion, in effect, to enforce too much law. So, you know, you watch, agree, Ron, I watch Ron Paul's uh, candidacy, and we'll see how far... A libertarian view on drug laws can get. My, my judgment is, if I were running for office, I'd stay as far away from it. Can I just I can. say this? They're not only using it to, uh, you know, using their discretion, but often abusing their yeah. discretion to, so they too can get reelected because they're really hard-nosed and all that too. So it's...